Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for Pen Testers. In this video, we're going to talk about our prerequisites that we need for the course, as well as where to download our ISOs and get VirtualBox set up uh, so that we can set up our virtual network environment uh, in order to begin building out Workstation uh, 01 as well as our domain controller. So here we are with PowerShell for Pen Testers GitHub repo. Really quick, the files that are going to be most important for our build out is going to be invoke AD generator.ps1, invoke forest deploy.ps1, and name gen. So down the road, I'll show you exactly how to download these and what we're going to do with them. But for now, uh, this won't be important. First, we need to download Windows 10 Enterprise from the Enterprise or from the Evaluation Center on Microsoft. So we've given the link already, but here it is up top as well if you need it. And what we're going to do is we're going to download the ISO Enterprise. So click Continue. And here you can literally put in any information you want. So we're going to just do add at dot com. We'll put a junk phone number and then put your country in. Um, if you would like, I'm just going to use United States. I'm not going to select yes and click continue. We want the 64 bit right here and then use your language and click download. When this pop up uh, happens, just go ahead and hit OK and then that will download to whatever your download directory is. I'm not going to download because I already have it. Next for try Windows Server 2019, we want the ISO again. We want to click continue. We can just put some junk characters in here. Um, one, our title can be marketing sales this time. We'll do at dot com, junk phone number, and then our country region. I'm just going to use the United States because that's where I'm from. Not select yes, click continue, and then select English and click download. This will now save, and you're all set here. Our next step is to open VirtualBox, which you can see I've got open now. And the first thing we want to do is generate a new network adapter. So let's go to File and Preferences, Network. And you're going to see I already have some here, so we're just going to generate a, sec a separate one uh, by clicking add, net, uh, add a New Network up here with this button. And you'll see NAT Network. I'm going to remove mine because I already have the network I need. So in this case, we're going to use the external one. So I want you to right click this and click edit NAT network, enable it, name it external, set the network cider to 192.168.3.0 backslash 24, and that it supports DHCP and click OK. And then you're all set here. You can now use this NAT network when you generate your virtual machines. Don't worry about these other two. This is for my movement, pivoting, and persistence course. Now that we've done that, we can click New, and we're going to create our Windows Server 2019. And for me, I'm going to call it DC01. And then I'm just going to scroll all the way down to Windows 2019. Click Next. We can click Next for the defaults. And I want to go back because I want to use a fixed size. I like that personally. And I'm going to set this to 25 gigabytes because we really don't need anything larger than that and click create. This will take a few moments, uh, so just stand by while uh, the hard disk is generated. And this is working to create a virtual hard disk for our machine that will handle all of our storage. Our next task then will be to modify our server settings uh, to load from our installation media. So we'll show you that here in just a moment. And here we are, so now we'll click settings and let's go to system and make sure that everything is still right and this looks appropriate for me I'm gonna increase the two CPUs just because I can don't worry about it if you can't you can leave it on the default where we have storage we want to click empty and we want to select that installation media we just downloaded for our Windows Server so I'm gonna click that Windows Server and then on network we want to enable NAT network or network adapter excuse me and we want to attach to a NAT network named external right that's what we created and here you can see that NAT network settings so now we're all set when we click OK we need to do this one more time to create a new uh, machine for Windows uh, 10 right so let's go to Windows 10 64 bit we'll call this one workstation 01 and it was kind enough to change this to Linux for some reason. Click Next. We can leave our default settings again. Fix size for me. And then I'm just going to set this to 20. It doesn't need to be any larger than that. And click Create. This will again go through the same process we saw a few moments ago for 
uh, creating the hard disk for our workstation as it did on our domain controller that we're generating. And now that we're here, we can go to settings. We want to go to storage and we're going to select the Windows evaluation version that we downloaded. So here mine is 19043. That's the Windows version, client enterprise, all that jazz. We want to go to our network, attach to NAT network, and then our external network. We can also go to our system if we want to assign a little bit more resources, we can. If you have it, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. And then click OK. And then we should be all set. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we can uh, install first. We'll install our DC01. Uh, and then we'll go through the installation process for creating and generating our domain controller and domain objects. Once that's done, we will go through the process for installing Workstation01 and joining it to the domain. So I will see you over in the next lesson where we install Server 2019. Till then, thanks for joining.